In this presentation, you will learn about subreports, what they are, and how to make use of them in General Report Writer. Consider this scenario. You have created one report that graphs your data using a pie chart. You have also created a report that summarizes your data in a list format. The list report provides the detail that backs up the pie chart. You can distribute the two reports at the same time, one report containing the pie chart, the other containing the list report. You would run your report application twice and output two separate reports. It would be up to you to somehow distribute these reports as a package. With the introduction of subreports in version 2.32 of the General Report Writer, you now create a master report that calls the subreports. Creating a master report that includes the graph report and the list report. Executing the master report outputs the subreports to a single report deliverable, whether a single file, a single PDF, or a single tab in the General Report Viewer. The goal for this demo is a simple one to have these two reports output as a single report deliverable. Subreports have many more uses, reusing parts of a report across multiple reports, for example. But this simple demo provides a good introduction on how to implement subreports. What do you need to do to create a master report that uses subreports? This is the process at a high level. You will see each step in detail during the demonstration. Start by creating the reports that you will include in the master report. You will want these available when it comes time to specify the subreports. Add a master report to your report application. Within the master report, call your subreports. Compile your report application and generate a new RDD file. Create a new report design document specifying the master report for the data schema. If multiple report blocks are in your report application, you select the master report block when you add the data schema. Once the report structure displays, assign the appropriate subreport to each of the subreport triggers. The report is ready to execute. Start with the first step. Create the reports that will become your subreports. It is best to have the reports created and tested prior to including them as subreports. For the demonstration, the reports will be two reports included with the report sample project. The map chart revenue by customer and the list demo report. The map chart revenue by customers presents a pie chart showing the revenue by customer. The list demo report provides the detail for each customer, including the dollar total for each customer which maps to the revenue total for each customer shown in the pie chart. The next step in the process is to update the report application to include a master report calling one or more subreports. In the master report block, you call the subreports with their own start report, output to report, and finish report statements. The start report statement cannot be in a function called by the master report block. It must be in the master report block. It does not take any arguments. Look at the sample code shown here. See the two subreports, Detail Report 1 and Detail Report 2, each with their own start report, output to report, and finish report statements. If you look at the function that will call the master report, notice that its start report statement does take the argument to XML handler. The master report is responsible for the data streaming to the general report engine. The subreports are children, if you will, of this master report. There are some additional restrictions when it comes to specifying subreports. You can read more in the general report writer documentation. When you have finished updating your report application, compile your file and generate a new RDD file. For this demo, Examine the Reports Sample Application. Access the function Run Twice. This is the function called when the user selects to run one of their master reports. You see that it includes Start Report, Report All Orders Twice, to XML Handler, Handler. 
Look at the report block, run all orders twice. Under the format on every row, there are two subreports set up. Each subreport involves a start report, an output report without arguments in a while loop, and a finish report. In this sample application, both are calling the same subreport block, report all orders. Understand that they could have been calling different report blocks. They are also both under on every row. Understand that a subreport can be called from anywhere where printing in a loop is allowed. A subreport can be located under on every row, before group, after group, or on last row. For this demo, however, we have both subreports under on every row, and they both call the same report block. After making any changes to the report application, you compile your application and create a new RDD. The next step involves creating the report design for the master report. Start with an empty report. When you specify the data schema, the part of the RDD that maps to the master report, Subreports appear as nodes in the data view, and subreports appear as triggers in the report structure. Place your on every row trigger under the page root. The subreport triggers remain under the on every row trigger. Specify a report for each of the subreport triggers. Continue with the simple demo. Create a new empty report. From the Data View tab, select the Order Report RDD. There are two report blocks to choose from. Select Report All Orders Twice. Now take a look at the Data View. See the two subreport nodes. Take a look at the report structure. See the two subreport triggers. Move the on every row trigger under the page root, and let's specify the reports. Select the first subreport trigger. Under its properties, specify the URL by selecting the name of the first report to include. Pick the chart report, map chart by cat. Select the second subreport, and for its URL, select listdemo.4rp, and save your report with a new name. While this has already been done for this demo, you would modify your form to include the new report name as an option from the drop-down list box. You would also modify your report application so that the Report All Orders Twice report block is called when your new report is selected. Compile the application if needed run the application, and select your master report. The result, both the chart and the list report, are included in the master report output. Look at the sample master report provided with the sample reports project. In this report, the report structure shows that under the on every row trigger, two mini pages are defined to hold the two subreport triggers. You can use the mini page to limit the space that a subreport will occupy. In this sample, the first report is a graph that is designed to take up the max space of its parent mini page. By placing it on a mini page with a height set at 10 centimeters, you guarantee that the graph will only take up half of the first page of the report. This concludes the demonstration and the introduction to subreports. For more on subreports, refer to the documentation. For other topics, 
be sure to check out the other general report writer videos.